Hello Metrics, and welcome to the fifth video on statistics, brought to you by the Answer Series. In this video, we will look at the scatter plot, the line of best fit, and the least squares regression line. Example number one, what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video, I want you to try this example, and then we'll do it together. So the example shows a scatter plot showing the age of boys in years and the average height in centimetres. And the first question says to you, use the scatter plot to determine the average height of a seven-year-old boy. Now, when you're reading off like this, your answers are going to have to be fairly approximate. So seven years old, if I go up and I go across from that point, I get approximately 121 centimetres. 1.2 says describe the trend in the scatter plot. Well, what is happening as the age increases, so the height increases. 1.3, they ask you what is the approximate increase in the average height per annum between the ages of 2 and 15? Well, if I take the age of 2, the coordinate is approximately 2. 88, and at 15, it's approximately 15, 169. So to get the average height, what I do is I take the gradient between those two points. So y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2, and I get an answer of 6.23, which if I look at my scatter plot seems to make sense because if I look at how much it increases each year, 6.23 makes sense from the scatter plot. 1.4 says to you explain why the observed trend cannot continue indefinitely. Well, children don't keep growing forever and ever as they get into adulthood, so they stop growing. Now, the least squares regression line is the exact line of best fit. And the equation for the least squares regression line is y equals a plus bx. Now, be very careful. It is a straight line, but we write it as y equals a plus bx. The x term comes second. And we calculate it using the calculator. If you have a Casio FX82ZA+, plus, these are the buttons to press. Mode 2, and then 2. You enter the X and Y values, followed by equals. And then you must again, as we did previously, press AC. That seals the data into the calculator. You then pressed Shift Stat, which is above the 1 button. And then number 5. To get the value of A, you press 1 equals, and that's that value there. To get the value of B, you press 2 equals, and that will give you the coefficient of X. Example number 2. What I want you to do is I want you to pause the video. I want you to try this one, and then we'll do it together. They've given you a set of data. They've given you the time for a 100 meter sprint and the distance of the best long jump. And they ask you to determine the equation of the least squares regression line. And they simply say to you, get the value of A and B. Use your calculator with this data, press the buttons necessary, and you will get the value of A and the value of B. 2.2 says to you, an athlete runs the 100 meter sprint in 11.7 seconds. Use your line of best fit that you have just worked out to predict the distance of the best long jump of this athlete. So I know that A is 14,34. I know that B is minus 0,64. And I use that line and in place of X goes 11.7. And I get a Y value of 6,85. Now look at your scatter plot. When x is 11.7, I'm somewhere there, I get a y value of 6.85, which is about there. 
That makes sense because my least squares regression line is going to be a line looking something like that. So always look at your data on the graph if you've got a graph and see whether the answer makes sense or not. 2.3 talks about another athlete who completes the 100 meters in 12,3 seconds and the distance of his best long jump is 7,6 meters. So if I look at my graph, that goes roughly at the point there. So that's where I've got 12,3 seconds and I've got 7,6 meters. And the question says, if this is included in the data, will the gradient of the least squares regression line increase or decrease? Now, your least squares regression line lies roughly like that. So when I put this extra point in, what is going to happen to the least squares regression line? Well, it's going to move so that the line gets pulled a little closer to that point. So my new least squares regression line is going to look a little bit like that. Now the question says to you, is the gradient increasing or decreasing? The slope has become less steep. It's a shallower slope, but the gradient is negative. And when I become less steep, when the gradient is negative, your gradient is in actual fact increasing. So the gradient is increasing because the slope becomes less steep. In other words, it's less negative. You should now understand these concepts. Thank you for watching this video. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from the Answer Series, your key to exam success.